we are finally back after almost what, a two month hiatus um and i wanted to introduce everyone to our newest little addition this is ashley we had her at the end of september um so that's been taking up a lot of a lot of our time um before she was born early in september i got really sick and we didn't get anything accomplished other than sleeping and feeding everybody and things um and I just kind of had to lay around and then after that the sickness went through the house and so I was just trying to do as little as physically possible so we could keep her from being born and tell everybody was um feeling better that was our goal and we did everybody was healthy by the time she was born um but then sickness hit again <laughs> shortly after th it went through the kids um so we weren't getting a whole lot of sleep and I was napping during the day and just trying to survive <laughs> at that point um but now she is a little over five weeks old today um so we are getting kind of in a routine luckily everybody seems to be feeling better um so we're hoping that the illnesses stay away for a while um, she is doing wonderful. She is a very good baby. We had some issues um, nursing in the beginning. Um, I just didn't have, my milk didn't come in as quickly as it usually does. Um, I had to have a lot of medicine for bleeding and things um, at the hospital. So I don't, I, that probably hindered my milk supply. Um, so we were pumping and she had to have, be supplemented with some formula for the first couple of days. <coughs> Excuse me. And then my milk came in we were able to get her to latch back on and she's been doing fabulous <laughs> she's a little gassy she's been doing great um since then and we're still working with a bottle just just so it's nice you know ellie would like to feed her eventually so that's always nice to have that as an option she's a very good sleeper so far she's one of my better sleepers she wakes up once or twice a night which is just fabulous because crystal doesn't sleep all night all the time he does most nights but not every single night and he's kind of had a cold so he's been coughing a little bit here and there um so we are just trying to find a groove and get back into the swing of life and keep up on homework and all the things in our house is literal disaster um we're still kind of just in survival mode i have about six loads of laundry and baskets that i need to fold and more to do and just yeah i think we need to go back through eventually and minimize some more things um i thought that we had enough minimized and then now we need to you know i think it's officially fall here and it's the high today is like 45 or 48 degrees so let's see your breath cold i told the kids um so we need to go through and get the summer clothes out and put in tubs so that will eliminate stuff right now we have like summer stuff and winter stuff all in the laundry baskets and i have been washing blankets and things trying to get rid of the germs and you know all the things um we've been baking though so that's nice we've been utilizing all the pumpkins um down by our house we have down the road there is a wagon that sells pumpkins and so my husband has been bringing those home for me to make pumpkin bread i made a pumpkin soup like a pumpkin and then he brought a squash home and that was not a hit i i was not impressed with that i don't have an immersion blender i just put it in like the blender blender and so it didn't get that texture like you know the store-bought you know butternut squash soup did um and i didn't follow a recipe i just kind of won it because it's just how i am so it wasn't very good um and unfortunately we pitched a lot of it because i didn't like it the kids tried it and they did not like it at all and i didn't think it was very good either so i couldn't very well make them eat it i didn't like it <laughs> either um but the pumpkin bread and pumpkin muffins have been a huge hit and the kids like to help make that Allie and Chris like to help make that. Adam and Cole pretty much just like to eat it. Um, but everybody really likes her. Everybody's really happy. Um, she was, she's a very loved little girl. Oh, she's asleep now. She doesn't really like the passy. We're trying. We're trying very hard. All my kids have had a passy. I really, we really utilize that in the car line, picking up from school and stuff. It makes life a little easier. <laughs> um, but 
yeah she's a very good baby she like I said she sleeps good which is huge to us um me because you know we don't have all the best sleepers in the world but so far she is a very good sleeper and I'm really hoping that it stays that way we're just trying to keep her healthy with the holidays coming up I'm just gonna keep her in my wrap she is loves the wrap she's pretty much in the wrap from about four o'clock to seven o'clock in the evenings I always take her out at seven no matter what I'm doing I just stop and get her out and get her woke up that way we're not up half the night which she stays up kind of late anyways. Um, but that's okay. That's just time for her and I to just be by ourselves. We're never just by ourselves. So that is, that's nice to get to know her with nobody else awake sometimes. Um, her birth went really well. We went in, I was due on the 30th and we went in on the 25th because I was having contractions um, about every 15 minutes. But then when we got to triage and I laid down, they just stopped. Like... They were just done um, but it ended up being a good thing that we went in my blood pressure was higher it wasn't necessarily high but it was higher than high for me um, from how it had been my whole pregnancy and so they just decided to keep us and started the Pitocin and all the things and then the contractions started coming back and everything started going really well um, and then um, I was still having lots of contractions and feeling lots of pressure, but I was only four centimeters dilated. So they went to break my water and my water had already broke and I had no idea um, at all that it had broke. Um, I had been, I had still kind of had a cough left over from where I was sick. So like TMI, but I had like a little panty liner on because I would get to cough in and then dribble. Hi buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sit with us? climb up here oh are you hungry okay sorry about that Chris woke up and needed a snack you can see him down there say hello Chris <laughs> um, so anyway my water had broke some point and we didn't know it it didn't break while I was in the bed at the hospital so it had broke and been leaking I guess anyway so it was a very good thing that we had went to the hospital um, and then that was we went I don't know, by the time we got there, it was around 7 o'clock on the 25th, which was a Saturday. So then um, we had stuff started getting crazy around 11.30, and then she was getting really intense, lots of pressure. It was crazy. I didn't have an epidural. I don't like them. I don't like, they make it really hard for me to stay awake. I just don't like how they make me feel. And I don't like the recovery afterwards. I've had two. And then I've had, you know, now three no epidurals, natural births, or like, you know, I still have Pitocin, but no pain medicine. Um, and I just, I prefer that. The recovery is better. I'm not sleepy. I don't remember a whole lot about the boys' births. I had them with the oldest two. I had epidurals. Um, and I just, I didn't like it. So, um, she was born at 1231 on Sunday, September 26th. And yeah, she was six pounds and 15 ounces. And we had a nice hospital stay. We had very wonderful nurses. My labor and delivery nurse was fabulous. Um, it was great. We had, it was wonderful. We got to come home on Monday, the 27th, and see all the rest of the kids. And she got to meet everybody. And it was, it was great. It was great. And we have been getting along pretty well since then. Um, we go back on Friday for another weight check for her. She has a slight, very mild tongue tie, so they're just keeping an eye on her weight. Um, she's latching just fine and nursing just fine. So the doctor said that as long as her weight is consistent, she's consistently gaining, we won't have to worry about that. And I can tell that she's growing. We're going to have to put her newborn clothes away already. Um, we can still get them on, but like she can't straighten out our legs all the way, and that just doesn't seem comfortable. So she's kind of swimming in the three months, but a little bit, but not as much as I would have thought she would be. Um, so yeah, she's thriving and growing, and everybody is adjusting very well, very, very well. Um, I'm very impressed. I kind of worried about Chris, but he doesn't really pay any attention to her whatsoever. Um, the only thing that has been difficult is his nighttime routine. Got it has been a little bit pushed back. Um, but he doesn't seem bothered by it. He's not, you know, crying about it or anything. 
Um, it just takes a little bit longer to get him to sleep now, which isn't a huge deal. I think he's probably also at that, you know, he's about two and a half. So he is also at that age where, you know, maybe he doesn't need a nap every day. I don't know. I still make him lay down and take a rest every day and he usually falls asleep. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe that could be part of the reason why he's been a little more difficult to get to go to sleep. He wasn't difficult at all before, but you know, and the weather has changed. So we're not, you know, O-U-T at all. I can't even say that word out loud. Um, so that is definitely part of it. I just don't think he's getting as tired as he was um, when it was nicer out. Because the first few weeks that we had her home, I would just put her in a wrap and we would mosey on out there and, you know. But afterwards, now that it's cold here, we're not doing that a whole lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are starting to get in the hang of things. Hopefully, I can start being more regular again with our posting. Um, there's just not a whole lot going on here to record, honestly, other than just messes and chaos and you know that is the name of the game now that we have five there's just a lot of us and there's a lot of homework that comes home we have three in school now uh, so there's a lot of homework and then you know we had football and now we have um, basketball started and so we just have a lot of craziness going on but I do plan to get back on our routine but I just wanted to introduce everybody to Ashley and we are very happy to have her. She is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And every she's a very good baby. And everybody's been taking turns holding her home right now. We're kind of I'm kind of scared to let people get too close to her because the kids just come home and bring sicknesses home. So things will get better eventually. <laughs> but anyways, that is all I have for you today. So I hope everybody's doing well, and we shall see you in the next one. Oh, yeah.